Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the welterweight division and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. El Terrible is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Junior's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Okay guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. They're underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Missed the target with that hook. Junior's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did his air well. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good block by Junior. Very accurate with the overhand right. El Terrible's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Close that punch by Junior. Get in through. <laughs> Junior's the victim of a powerful hook. That's a nice combination. Left hook to the body, right hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of this round, 
Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Custom Auto, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cuss? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I'll tell you that much, because Cuz didn't believe in paying you for that. He said you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cuz believed they're working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Junior. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through this round here. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. You know, we're early in this fight, but El Terrible's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta go. love the work by Junior. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not able to land the headshot. Seconds to go in this round. And round number three is underway. Replays nailed by a hook. That could set up things to come there, that jab by Junior. That's okay, let's go! Nice block that time, it was intended to the head. Right to the head with that right.
Nice combination by El Terrible. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Overhand right can be so effective. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Nice work on the right hand by Junior. Good job! with that headshot. That's it! Good right hand. Last 10 seconds of round number three. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Junior. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice strike after catching one by Junior. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. El Terrible is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Let's see some defense. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? 90 seconds to go in round number four. Watch that! He's tired! A little head hunting with the right. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Junior's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So what are the ways he... Wow! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's over. Look at this. El Terrible is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count.
Niners power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory.